Like these cows next to a wire fence, David was the victim of lightning using a good conductor to get to him. So if a good conductor like metal is lightning's favorite path, can a bad conductor like rubber protect you? People often think if something is insulated electrically, so if there's some rubber between them and the lightning strike, then they'll be safe. Michael Utley was wearing rubber-soled shoes the day he nearly died. He knows how protective they can be. I've heard it said that it was the rubber sneakers that saved my life. There's a good possibility that I survived because with a pair of runners on, that could have insulated me enough to, to basically let me live. Lightning travels through so many miles and miles of atmosphere and is so much power and so much force. I don't know, you'd probably need 10 miles of rubber to save you. It's time to put it to the test. Take a rubber-soled shoe, drive the current of a lightning bolt through it. How good will the insulating properties be? We're talking massive amounts of power. And even though the rubber has a very high resistance, are rubber sneakers a good protection for lightning strike? I wouldn't want to bet my life on it. Michael's rubber-soled shoes ended up just like this one. They offered no protection at all on that day and offer him no solutions as to why he survived. For Michael to fully understand the awesome power of his adversary, he needs to confront his fears and get up close and personal with it again. 